Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Fey Enchantress. And we finally got rid of all the undead from Betonia. But while we were dealing with the undead, Bellacor moved into the donut. So I think we're gonna have to help our elf buddies out a little bit. So let's see if Eltharion wants to sponsor our little war against Bellacor. Because it looks like he's gonna need some help. And ooh, military access. That's gonna come in handy. And I would like to get an alliance, but doesn't seem to be in the cards here, so we'll get there. In the meantime, we can get a decent amount of money, actually, just to join a war. So, let's start liberating some elf land, shall we? So, let's just pop over there. We should reach this, no problem. And, yeah, we can just order us all that. Perfect. Ooh, a razor standard. That's, I mean, that could be pretty good on some peasants, but who am I kidding? That's going on a horse, <laughs> obviously. So, let's just occupy that. It is um, unpleasant, so we might just sell all of these to to the elves eventually, but for now, we're gonna hold on to it. Ooh, we do have room to equip that, right? Yes, just about. And we got a bunch of these, but I think everyone has armor, so that's gonna be fine. We also need some technologies, and we are gonna start confederating these guys. So let's start with Aquatine, because they're right up there. Because this is gonna take... Yeah, let's go with that. That's gonna be good. And hopefully you've... Uh... Oh, have you not... You haven't built your wineries? Are you idiots? You better get on that. You better fix that. But we are also trying to deal with Ikit Claw. And uh, I don't know where he is. He's probably in one of these settlements. And I'm not that confident that that we can beat him with this. So we're gonna be a little bit sneaky because if we can use Orion to help us with that, that would be great. So let's just sit and, oh, we got 7% here, perfect. So let's just sit here and uh, try to get an ambush, see if uh, we can just use Orion or if he goes and siege something, then we're just gonna go and assist him. Because we just need Icar Cloud dead, doesn't matter who does it. So let's just pass the turn. Okay, no ambush, womp womp, that's fine. Let's go and take Tor Kuruali. Oh, hey, Elthorian is helping. That's nice of him. Uh, let's just put this on one of the questing knights. That's gonna be great, and <laughs> that is obviously an auto result. Occupy that, and what do you got? No I mean, you got some Shadow Warriors, that's fun. You only have one Mistwalker unit. That's, uh, that's a little bit disappointing. But that's fine. Ooh, Defenders of Fleur de Lis. Those are expensive. We're gonna get those eventually. For now, I don't think we can afford it. And we're still in Amber Stance. They didn't find us. I mean, considering he, he just goes between these and just sits outside, makes me believe that there's an army in both of these, which is making me <laughs> very worried. So yeah, we're gonna keep being careful let's try to get this ambush and uh, hope we don't get plagued now that i think of it because there's a play going but yeah they might just have moved over here getting ready to attack so i would love to get that ambush but i don't think we oh we leveled so let's do that and then pass the turn and right we are getting the cav stuff now because this is going to be most of our army soon and you can start getting self-centered. And you can get selective abhorrence. Perfect. So, let's just... Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, this is a two-settlement province. That's uh, that's perfect. Let's just get some control here. Lower corruption. And... Uh, lessons. Plague chance. Which doesn't really matter, but that's fine. What do you see? Oh, and we found Tyrion. Excellent. And you want a non-aggression pact. How about you pay me a little bit of money? Perfect. Okay, so I'm starting to think that Eltharion actually killed Bellacor because we did see him here a couple of turns ago, but he seems to be missing. So that's promising. Oh, and we can just not about reach that. Oh, wait, I thought I thought it was going to be clever and change to... Crusade stance, why is this lowering our movement? It's supposed to increase it. Well, that's bullshit. Okay, well, uh, go and sit right there then. 
And uh, I guess in camp for <laughs> whatever reason. That's gonna be fine. We're gonna take Tor Ak Akari next turn. And Eltharin is going for Nakari, which is a little bit worrying because he's pretty hurt. And uh, Nakari is pretty dangerous. But we can. Ooh, do we want walls here or do we want just farms everywhere? Oh, right. I also discovered that <laughs> there's. There's a crossbow unit that I hadn't re realized was in SFO, so that's cool. And uh, we might have to get this somewhere just to try it out. But for now... I mean, I feel like Musion should be kind of safe since they're all elves down here. So at least get farms in Musion. And you know what, we're close by, let's get some here as well. More farms! And how are we looking down here? Oh, Orion is going down there. Not quite in range of that, though. Oh, we could reach that with... Let's have a look at this. We can probably take this. Yeah, well, we obviously can. Uh, let's just pop this on some of those. Actually, do we want that on Cav? Yeah, probably. Let's put it on some Cav. Auto resolve that. And, um... Perfect. Oh, and we finished some buildings as well. Oh, wait. Ikit Claw might be hanging out in there. But we should be able to take Ikit Claw by himself, especially with Orion just hanging out. Maybe that's gonna solve itself. But, I think we finished... Yes, we finished this, so we should be able to get a paladin here. So... Bolsa leadership, meh. Lame. That's more like it. Get more melee attack. So, let's get a paladin over there, and we're gonna just send nice. you in to that army. That's gonna be great. Just keep upgrading that. We are gonna have to keep a little bit of money because I'm probably gonna use the money to confederate. Because I think we need like 5,000, right? Probably. Yeah, so I think we can pass turn here. And uh, hopefully Althorian isn't in a bad position. Because I can't see Nakari anywhere. Oh. Oh, there's the Defensive Alliance. Absolutely. Start getting some allegiance so we can get some nice high elf units. And why are you just sitting there? No glory. You, you didn't oh, move yes. and you're taking attrition. Are you are you stuck or are you just an idiot? You dumb idiot. Okay, well, let's go and... Oh, why am I... Did someone... No one hindered me. Why is my... Ah, whatever. We can reach it anyway. Close? I don't think so. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of damage on our cab. How... how that happen? Okay, whatever. This is fine. We're... we're getting, like, insane replenishment on knights thanks to our, our faction. So they're all gonna be fine. It's just the peasants, but they're also mostly fine. So that's not a problem. And at least we don't see Nakari coming over and killing him, which is promising. Oh, and this got very nice and green very quickly. I like it. And this, uh, yeah, this isn't gonna stabilize. Let's, uh, let's stabilize it a little bit while it, there's provincial instability. Because the climate is always gonna be bad. And we'll probably sell these to, to the, um, to the high elves. I see much. Let's... Take oh actually. Do we just go back here and uh, just go and scout with you? Because we're not gonna be able to fall back very far. So what we can do is just move up to Orion. Accept that they might go and attack Nuja. But we can reach. We can reach Nuja from here. We know that. I, I just want eyes on their thing. I don't like not knowing things. So. 
because I don't know what Iker Claw has in his army. Because he might have a sick army, and uh, that army isn't that strong. So I want to be a little bit careful. We could just summon the... Actually, that's going to pop in next to the Fey Enchantress, and she doesn't really need this. Yeah, so we're going to hold off on the, gr on the Green Knight for a little bit longer. We don't really need him right now, and he is going to be helpful in defensive battles. So let's just pass the turn again. Oh, there's some Norskans coming in. And Eltharion just doesn't know what he's supposed to do. So, we are going to declare on these soon. But, Misnar is definitely in danger here. So, let's just go and sit there for a turn. Let's get some vision. And let's see where this these guys are going. Because I don't want them to like... I mean, they're not going to be able to take... Actually, yeah, they're not going to be able to take Leoness, but they were going to be able to take Mistnar. And that just seems foolish to lose that. And... Oh, we can get some hunting caps here. But we're going to just leave that be, because I don't know if we can hold it. Because Mikari can just declare war on us. And... Yeah, let's... Uh, we got Orion and another gal over here, so let's just uh, let's have a look at this. And yeah, this is fine. Let's uh, grab a tower. Let's uh, make room for you. Uh, just merge those. Get rid of you. It's fine. Get in there. There we go. So. I'm sure Ikid Claw is somewhere here. I'm very surprised he's not in Magrita, because I, I've been assuming, as you might have noticed. So, I guess he's over here somewhere. Oh, wait, there he is. But he's not in range. He is in range of Nuja, but that's fine. We got Orion just chasing. <laughs> that is intimidating. But, okay, that's good. Very good. Things are working out. And, yeah, you are... Why are you even going over here now? Like you're hurt to hell. I am Mojiana. Oh, and there's you. No, I don't want to join your war against them. Go away. So we got Nakari just hanging out outside of Tor Acre, which uh, damn, they got some strong stuff here. That's pretty scary. Oh, damn! You got your super speed thing. Okay, so they are going for Muzion, it looks like. That's scary. But, do you have any cab? No, you don't get any. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to hunt you. I would love to go after Nakari, though. But I don't think we can just let these guys move around and do whatever they want. They... We're probably gonna go and take Musion, but if they do, we're gonna get to kill him. So that's fine. And it's not like we've invested a lot into Musion, so no worries. Ooh, and we can upgrade this next turn. And we're getting to Confederate next turn. Beautiful. So, let's, uh, yeah, let's just decisive victory this. Oh, she's just in range. Perfect. And just occupy that. Hey, we got the blessings of the lady. And you're just hanging out. I would love to see the rest of your army, but it is promising that they have some Skaven slaves running around. So that's good. And <laughs> Orion is just raising after. So let's grab some everything. Oh, and you leveled. All oh, right, we need the vows. Um, we are gonna do the chivalry. That is usually the way to go. So, let's pass the turn. And Daith wants a defensive alliance. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. And yeah, they're going after Musion. Actually, can we... We get the Green Knight here, right? Because we have the thing. We should get the Green Knight here. Let's see what we can accomplish. 
because we got a lot of shooting and they don't have a lot of uh, things that are good against shooting. So let's just uh, make a really tight front line here. Like so let's bring you over there. And I guess that's not as tight as I made it sound, but that's gonna be fine, I think. We could actually probably... Nah, I don't want to sit in the forest, though. But we can move it back a little bit, like so. Because we'll have the Green Knight in 300 seconds, so... Just gotta survive, I guess. That is a tall or order, though. But if we get him, then uh, we should be able to do some good damage with him. So, let's... I guess first target is gonna be Berserkers, right? Because they are... They got low armor, low defense and all that. So, let's uh, start targeting Berserkers and target Berserkers. So move these guys up a little bit to give room. That's good. Doing decent damage. Decent damage. Decent damage. Let's turn you around. They are going to do a lot of damage into our spears, but we got shielded spears, so that's helpful. Oh, pile on in, pile on in, pile on in. At the very least, we're going to do some damage here, which uh, I guess is the important part. But we are killing their stupid berserkers, which is great. And we are kind of holding. Wish we had a caster, though. But yeah, these are just getting slaughtered by archers. Beautiful. First. Okay, I guess uh, intimidate them if you can. Okay, so those berserkers are down. Let's turn around and shoot. Send you into the marauders. That's gonna be fine. We're doing all right. These guys are pretty hurt, which isn't optimal, but now we got all of our archers shooting into these berserkers, so they're gonna drop. And we got some people in there ranged. Which is good. Yeah, these are gonna break. Those are gonna break. But those are gonna break too. So, let's... Uh, send you guys in there. Oh, and we got our spares into the horses. Perfect, 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 perfect. Berserkers are gonna run. Okay, here's, here's the problem with Bretonian infantry though. They're all gonna... They're all gonna run... Come on, okay, stop these guys at the very least. Okay, well, these guys are gonna break. We are winning over there. We are winning over there. And these guys should come back soon. So, those guys are all... The Berserkers are dead. Start shooting into the great weapons. And just put all of you on guard mode. And yeah, shoot into the great weapons. That's fine. That's fine. These guys are coming back. Get up there. And we're getting closer to the Green Knight, which uh, don't know how, how helpful it's gonna be now. But like I said, at least we're doing damage, which is uh, helpful. And we get, still got a couple of archers shooting. These guys, uh, well, they're gonna die. These guys are shooting, these guys are shooting. And we're doing good damage. These guys are dying, so send you in there. Perfect. Get back in there. We're turning this around. Let's pull you back. Oh, and uh, there goes the rest of our front line. Let's pull you back, pull you back. You're gonna have to take the brunt of that attack. That's fine. We got we got a couple of units coming in. So actually, fall back. Fall back again. We got more peasants coming in. You're doing your best. Which is all we can ask right now. And yeah, just get in there. Berserkers are dying at least. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Fucking Green Knight, baby! So, um, I guess sit and fight here. Where's their lord? 
There he is. Um, should probably... Yeah, we should probably send him in there. It was probably a dumb idea to put him in to these just because of the explosion. So, where's the rest of our archers? There's archers. Okay. Back up. Back up. Back up. Oh, and there's two archers on top of each other. That's... That's not where we want it. Come on, Green Knight. You can do it. Oh, good damage. Very good. Very good. We have anything standing here fighting. I mean, we have good balance, but I think that's... A lot of that is the Green Knight. Oh, these guys are back. Get in there. And, well, we are shooting a little bit. And, hey. Balance is... There. Okay, back away. Just, honestly, run away a little bit. Try to have other things tank for you. We have anything that wants to just cover our butts. No. I think... I think we might be done for here. <laughs> hey, these guys are back. Yeah, okay. I think we lose this. I think this can be winnable. But... Uh, gotta play better than I do. <laughs> so... That's fine. Let's just fast forward this. I think we lost. That's all right. We give it a try, and uh, hey, we didn't give up, give up Musion without a fight at least. So there's that. Oh well, at least we did some damage, so that's good, and we should be able to kill them. And we got heraldry of Aquatine. But we knew that was gonna happen. Don't wanna tank my chivalry because we got the money for it. So appease the lords. And we also get a buff, which is, um, okay, that's, that's lame, that's lame, that's, okay, that's, that can be okay, and <laughs> that's kind of lame, I don't think one turn, I think we're gonna go for line of sight, that's at least gonna give us some campaign, like, information, I guess this m might be alright, but one turn isn't that much, so let's go with the third tribute. It's kind of a kind of lame, but oh well. And whoa, what? Do you really think that low of me? Like, look at that balance. What do you have in here? I mean, except for a bunch of infantry, which I think we should beat. Nakari is a beast. And I guess uh, the cultists are pretty decent. So are the caster. Because I guess we could just send this guy to finish off the Norskans. And then we're gonna get rid of him. So, yeah. Go and kill him. Oh, don't be like that. Please. Okay. I thought we weren't gonna reach him. We're good. We're fine. Grab the money. And uh, actually, let's have a look at him. What's your. Oh, you got the Pledge of Protection. Okay, you might be a decent lord to just ferry around questing knights. Yeah, get rid of all of you. You're costing me money. And yeah, there's some other ones over here that. Uh, Definitely don't need. Actually, what's your vows? Oh, you have nothing. So these guys are <laughs> super expensive. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, get out of here. Oh, a paladin. You have nothing. But what is your trait? That's not bad. That's good in a little character blob. So we're going to keep you around. Did we check your, your vows? Yeah, okay, you got nothing. So, you're worthless. And... How did I... Yeah, that's... That's the guy... That's a peasant guy. Why... How did his vow get completed? Okay, whatever. So, do we send you down here, or... Um, do we just... Do we just fail enchantress you? We, 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 we can use some more 
paladins, can't we? Yeah. And you're gonna be helpful in the blobs. So, you're gonna go south and start recruiting some questing knights for this lady, I think. We have met before. Oh, and <laughs> you're just... He's just really, really focused on killing this. So that's fine. Um, since Ikitklai is over there, do we go after Tobaro or Tobaro? We can get there in two turns. But I think I want to be like nice healed yes. up first. So let's let's sit here for at least another turn. And right, we should have a look at Bodlo. Yeah, right. They never built the stupid vi wineries. And there's another one here, right? Two, right? Yeah, Shrine of Manan. Which, uh, that's more a campaign movement range for everyone. Yeah, we're gonna get that too. We don't need farms over here. We can... All right, you are gonna give unit capacity and capacity of paladin so that is gonna cap us right but we don't need you so get rid of you we're gonna get farm buildings here and uh, I'm a little bit nervous attacking Nakari but who will pay me to attack Nakari I feel like I'm a mercenary here um, not not a lot of money and not even a full-on alliance how about Eatine Oh, you already won trade. So, how about I join your war against Seducers of Slanesh? Give me some trade. That increased, yeah? Yeah, that's gonna give us more money. Oh, that's nice. And military access for less? Yeah, let's go for that. We can get military access later. And, uh, yeah. Great. More trade. More friends and more war. So let's uh, let's attack Nakari. And I don't understand that uh, that uh, like outcome bar. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It, it said we were like super outmatched, and I always thought it was funny with Nakari that uh, he looks like like <laughs> like a seventies like B movie monster movie made out of cheap rubber or something don't get me wrong i love nakari i think i think nakari is awesome but part of why is, why they're awesome is because they look like a cheap rubber suit from an 80s or 70s monster movie so yeah um, i'm just going to give that to an ai and we're going to go and kill nakari so nakari is pretty scary though but our paladins are pretty jacked, so hopefully, if we like, compare them, yeah, they're pretty equal actually. There's a lot less um, armor piercing, but that doesn't matter. Nakari is naked, so let's just take all of these out of the way for a sec. Let's set up all of our peasants over here. And it doesn't matter that they don't have armor, since everything here is just super armor piercing. So let's set up. So, and so, you're, uh, no, wait, you're never in group one anymore. That's, that's not happening. Like so, uh, you guys are gonna go after Nakari. We got big heals, so we should be able to do that without dying. You're gonna do your thing, you're gonna do your thing. We all know, we all know the thing now. And you're gonna do your thing. Because all of their... Demon nets are pretty low mass, yeah? Yeah, just a hundred, so it should be fine. Oh, now it's actually pretty even. But I guess we're gonna get some reinforcements. You guys gonna sit there? Well, if you're just gonna sit there... <laughs> Holy shit, that was a good... That was a good volley. Not as good the second one, but I mean... Yeah. Let us get our <laughs> reinforcements. Yeah, they're gonna start disintegrating, right? Let's start shooting into those. But these are also gonna die in like one vo- not volley. You don't volley with horses, unless you have a very good catapult or trebuchet. Uh, one charge with our cav. So, 
Now they're coming in. These guys are getting here, so that's great. Let's uh, send in these guys. Let's send in these guys into some... Uh, send them in the front, send you in over there. And just send you in over there. Oh, let's avoid you a little bit. Should pop both of those. Continue on in there, and ooh, we're taking lots of damage already. Good thing it's on the on the person with the whoa! Holy crap, basket! Holy shit! Oh, get out of there! <laughs> Flee! Run away! Okay. Underestimate. <laughs> Don't underestimate uh, Nakari, because I figured um, they had pretty. Similar stats, but no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's charge in over there. You should be able to just charge around. You're doing great, though. Let's get a heal on both of these, though. That's fine. These guys are just slaughtering their infantry, though. Send you in on the characters. So their other characters are just being murdered. The seekers are gonna die to archer fire, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's, uh, can I get you guys out of there? I don't think so. Let's get a big heal over there at least. And let's go after the cultist. Eh, you're fine. And let's get a buff on you. Can we get out of here and just try to fight something elsewhere? No? Okay, these guys are getting out, so let's hunt those guys down. The cultist is dead. So, okay. Round two against uh, Nakari, I guess. Because, holy crap, that was insane. And we don't have the buffs yet. Oh, well. Let's uh, get ourselves a... That's not the heal. Let's actually get... Actually, none of those matters. And that doesn't really matter. So, let's just try to kill Nakari. But it seems to be going pretty well, actually. He is crumbling. And... Oh, I bet that hurt. Oh, wow. Ow, that hurts. That hurts. <laughs> oh, Nakari is a beast. But, they're going down. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. And that should only leave the Chaos Spawn. So, bring everything in here, get a big heal, and we should have, okay, still 50, 50 seconds out, that is fine. And it seems like the infantry didn't even get there. That's alright, they usually don't. And there we go. Excellent, almost killed by Nakari in duel, but hey, you're back up to full almost. And we only lost 80 units, which is really good, actually. So, yeah, very happy. Ooh, 4k. Yeah, we're, we're gonna pay some chivalry for that. Uh, we're definitely not gonna reach, though, unless... Nah. Let's just go and sit and recover the very little that we lost. And we're just gonna sweep through Nakari's land, then. Except... There's Bellacor. Um... Right, that's that's a problem, but that's gonna make all of our stuff faster, which I heard that's pretty good in a cav army. Oh wait, what? What was that trait? Oh, because we're we've been ransoming so many captives. That's all right, worth it. So we should be able to upgrade this. I don't think we ever repaired this either. We should absolutely do that. And we also need to start getting over to Baston. That's gonna take 12 turns, but that's gonna be fine. And right, we just used a lot of money over here. And I guess we should get this. Is there anything else that like is more needed? We do need to save some money for their landmarks. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna arrest you. Oh, wait. What did we... Oh, of course. We don't have a commandment over here. Which... Uh... 
let's grab yeah I don't think we necessarily need the actually let's go grab the control I think we'll get some more income yeah when we get to these so might as well be be a happy little town and I hope you go for Misnar instead of Leoness because Misnar is uh, well we can reach that and we can take it back while Leoness is uh, a little bit more annoying to take because we probably can't reach that in one turn oh maybe okay either way let's see what they do oh hello carl and finally it's about time you want a non-aggression pact you've been uh, a little bit pissy but this is fine actually you want to pay for it yeah perfect and oh he went he went up on land oh that is a lot of hounds uh, can we can we reach you? No, definitely not. But we can reach Leoness, so let's go and chill in Leoness. Actually, what would be yeah? Let's go and chill here. Paladin needs to. Oh, we can reach. Perfect. Um. Uh, get rid of get rid of a peasant who cares <laughs> it's not like they ever do anything anyway I don't remember the last time they they participate in the fight so uh, let's keep getting that make our knights nuttier make you more nutty and that's gonna be good because the grail effect is just really good especially now that we're gonna be fighting uh, Things with a lot of resistances, like Bellacor, because it even takes away Wardsay, which, uh, well, I guess he doesn't have it right now, but he does have his uh, thing. The thing? I forget what it's called, but he doesn't seem to have it, actually. The, like, shroud. Yeah, the Shadow Shroud. There it is. It's gonna take away a bunch of that, which is great. And we get an outpost. And Elthorin is just gonna go ham now, I think, which I'm fine with. Um, you're gonna need to keep moving down here, stay away from Bellacor. And we are definitely gonna need that. We are definitely gonna want that. And that's most of our money, again. So, oh, Orion is back and coming out to help. So let's, yeah, let's go from below. Stay away from Skaven Blight a little bit. And I uh, think we're just gonna try to hide a little bit. Because we should absolutely be able to reach that next turn. But I don't want to be too close for stupid shit to happen. Although, there's, this is all they have in Skaven Blight. Which is good. But they might have a full stack in tomorrow, so I want a little bit of leeway I if I need to run away. And I don't even know what to level you. I guess income from farms. It's gonna be fine. And you need to level. So let's give you hard grit. Oh, and we definitely have a bunch of gear for you. Yeah. Let's give you armor of fortune. And I guess that's it. I thought we had more than this. Uh, but let's give you that. And I guess that's it. We need more. We need more magical items. I thought we had more, but I guess we don't. Yeah, they're going for Musion. It's fine. <laughs> it's just going to be the punching bag. And he is. Oh, he. We are definitely in range of that. And. I mean, they don't seem to be hanging around for much longer than that. How much are you actually willing to pay? I'm not gonna get like actual, actual treaties with you. But I'll gladly take your money for military access that you're never gonna use. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> did he, did he sack that or raise that? He did, and they just sweeped in, but. I mean, 
I guess that's you know I good, am. because then they can repair it and build it up and all of that fun stuff for us. Because we're gonna... We're gonna confederate them in 10 turns anyway. But... We got Lewin coming in too. But he's not quite in range to reinforce. But I'm gonna end this episode here because... Uh, I don't think we have time to fight Bellacor. But we are definitely gonna fight Bellacor next turn. And if we thought Nakari is hard against our Paladins... I think he's gonna be a little bit worse. Because he's got... I mean, they've got similar stats, but... Bellacor is probably, like... He's a step above. But we're going to end this here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And next time, we're going to kill Bellacor. Bye-bye.